Hi, I'm Adam Dixon. I'm here at GDM with Ian today, and we're going to be looking at improving my drag flicking. So we're going to take you through three different exercises which are going to help improve your power and control when you flick. So, to maximise your power of the drag flick, it's vital to utilise your whole body as one chain. This first exercise is called a paloff press, and it's going to help you train to do that. So Adam's going to perform this now. So this is an isometric exercise targeted at core stability, but really utilizes the same chain of muscles used to drag flick. So you can see here, he's using his oblique sling, which is his right adductor through to his left oblique to stabilize himself through the movement. So watch in the mirror, making sure you're nice and stable, shoulders are back and down, core locked in. And I recommend performing 10 to 12 reps on one side and turning around and repeating it again. One of the most important components when trying to generate power for a drag flick is trunk rotation. And the second exercise, the wood chop, is gonna be the one that helps train that part of the movement. So you can either use a cable machine like we have here or a band does the same job. So I like to keep this relatively static in the sense of keeping your feet locked into the ground, hips imagine like they're in a vice so they do not move and it's going to be a small rotation using the trunk, your stomach muscles, so particularly your left oblique here to rotate. Notice how Adam keeps the hands within his body to make sure it's a small, slow and controlled movement to really isolate the muscles we want to try and train. So I recommend performing 10 to 12 reps on one side, flipping over and repeating the same on the other side. Our third and final exercise is the most dynamic of the three, and this is going to utilize the chain of muscles we've trained in the first two exercises in a more dynamic fashion to simulate that drag flick. So we're going to use the landmine here. If you don't have access to a landmine at your gym, it's absolutely fine to put the barbell into the corner of a room, maybe with a mat just to protect it. So from there, you're going to anchor yourself in the middle. You're going to have your hands in the middle of the bar. You're going to step forward like a drag flick and then power through from the hip and that oblique sling we spoke about before. So Adam's going to go ahead now. Great power. So the main thing here is to anchor that front foot, drive through the back leg, push the hip through, and the left oblique fires in such a strong position, just like with the drag flick. Let's go for one more. Great stuff. I recommend performing only three or four of those in one side, then repeating over on the other. So there you have it guys, three great exercises for you to go and practice and improve your drag flick power.